a lot of internationals who come to study in the Netherlands feel like they can't get good grades because getting good grades would be like a 9 or a 10, which in the Dutch grading system is just really hard to do. Good morning! If you're new to my channel, hi, it's nice to meet you. My name is Milena and I'm a university student here in the Netherlands. And on my channel, I like to post the most useful information I can think of and remember. And I try to make it as most semi-entertaining, I guess. But in the case that you are a returning subscriber, well, in that case, welcome back. It's been a while since I posted. I think the last time I posted a video was half a year ago, maybe a little bit more. And since then, I've been quite busy with university and my internship and work and a few other projects I've been working on. But now I finally have time to make videos again and I'm extremely, extremely happy and looking forward to doing that. And so in the case that you are a returning subscriber and you somehow made your way back after half a year, thanks, I appreciate it. So since the majority of people who watch my YouTube videos are international students who are interested in coming to study in the Netherlands, I thought that one thing you guys should really know about before coming here is the Dutch grading system. So just like the majority of my videos, I've split this video into parts so that you can skip to which part is more interesting for you. So the first part, we talk about the basics, just how the grading system works. Then we go on to how you can interpret your grades and lastly, what you can expect studying here in the Netherlands and kind of how your grades will look like. Although I can't really tell you how your grades will look like. It's more of just like a simulation of how your grades will look like. Either way, you'll see yourself. Let's get into it. So for this video, when we talk about the Dutch grading system, we are talking about their 10 point grading system. In this 10 point grading system, which goes from one to 10, one is considered very poor, very bad. Oh my God, not good at all. You might want to reconsider life choices. Whilst a 10 is outstanding, marvelous, godlike. And in between that range from one to 10, if you get a six, that is usually a satisfactory, usually like an average, a pass. But we'll get into that. So in addition to this 10 point grading system, which Dutch universities use, you should also know about the way that their workload is measured, which is through ECTs. And ECTs stand for European Credit Transfer System. I'm actually very surprised that I managed to say that on the first go. Hmm, good on me. Okay, so anyways, European says, you're, oh, damn it, ECTs, European Credit Transfer System. There you go. So your ECTs basically measure your workload and they really focus on how many hours you should dedicate per course. One ECT, so one credit, is equal to 28 hours. To put that in perspective, one full year of university is 60 ECTs. You might be wondering, why are ECTs so relevant? Well, that is a great question. Since the amount of ECTs associated with a subject are directly correlated to the amount of workload that is put into it, you can get kind of an idea of how hard each subject is going to be. On top of that, your weighted average or your GPA is very dependent on the ECTs of each course. For example, if you do really well on a course which has eight ECTs or has a larger workload, that means that that will have a larger weight on your average. In general, it is harder to get better grades for courses with a higher workload, but it is doable. And if you do get better grades on courses with a higher workload, that means that your weighted average is looking healthier. And so now you know the basics of the Dutch grading system, you know about the 10 point grading system, you know about your ECTs, the European credit transfer system, damn it! European credit transfer system. There you go. I'm gonna edit that together so it's gonna look very smooth. Moving on, we'll talk about how you can interpret your grades. I see a lot of international students who come from a long history of getting nines and tens who get very, 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 very sad that they are not getting nines and tens when they come to study here in the Netherlands. And that's just kind of a thing. Getting a nine or a 10 in a Dutch university is very hard and that's very different from certain high school grading systems or middle school grading systems where you had people who just got the best grades because they got everything right well in dutch universities you can't always get everything right you might be thinking to yourself well milena i kind of get the gist of a 10 point grading system not really rocket science i think i figured it out well in that case you're wrong 
I'm kidding. You probably get the gist and that's good, but the Dutch grading system, especially in university, is a little bit different because it's extremely hard to get a 9 or a 10. I mean, I bet that there are people who just get 9s or 10s during university, uh, but they are really just like a, a mystical creature. They're kind of just more like of a legend um, than actual people that I know. But in the case that you are someone who has been thriving in university, getting 9s and 10s, good on you put your name on the, the very short list of people who have done that. So how should you be interpreting your grades? In Dutch universities, a 5.5 is a pass, or a 6 depending on if they're rounding up or not. There are certain universities and programs such as mine in which there are exceptions where you can pass a subject without meeting the necessary 5.5 grade, but this is just like the general basic system that we're talking about. So since a 5.5 is a pass, anything above that is already good since you're passing the subject. And so a six would be like satisfactory, average, above average even. A seven is, wow, you're doing great, woohoo. And an eight would already be like a, just a certain wow. So grades between a six and an eight are very common and people usually get something in that range. But it is very unlikely that you'll get anything between a one and a three or a nine or a 10. Getting a grade between one or a three is very unlikely as long as you've done like the minimal amount of studying. Like you, you don't really 100% know what's going on, but if you have like a general gist, you'll probably get something above the range of a one or a three. A seven is already great, you know, you've passed, you're far beyond the passing grade of a 5.5. In certain cases, when you do have exceptional students, who get grades like eight or above, they're considered cum laude students. And if they get a nine or above as like their grade average, they graduate as a summa cum laude student. And summa cum laude students are probably the closest thing we can get to God, cause they are, they have achieved it. You know what I mentioned? Like getting a nine or a 10 is already hard, but consistently getting a nine or a 10 is impressive honestly and so that's more or less how you should be interpreting the grades you know don't go too hard on yourself if you're not getting nines or tens because again they're really hard just for you like think with me on a scale from one to ten on the dutch grading system if you get a 10 in the dutch university grading system you are god you are god himself there's like a big chunk of the bible dedicated to you and your grade right but if you get a one well then you're seeing God. <laughs> at your first couple of semesters at a Dutch university, you'll probably see that your grades are a little bit lower than what you're used to getting in high school, and that's very, very normal. That's something that I really wanted to make sure was clear in this video, is that getting lower grades in a Dutch university, if you're an international student and you come from a different grading system, is quite normal, because getting those nines and tens are extremely hard, and. Yeah, very tough to get. So if you are getting lower grades in your first couple of semesters at a Dutch university, honestly, don't stress too much about it. In most cases, it's just a matter of getting used to the study methods and just like, just generally the Dutch grading system is very different. If you are still looking for a good study technique for university, I do recommend you go watch my video where I talk about the ways that I've been studying and how they have helped me. I feel like the majority of international students who come study in the Netherlands kind of overestimate how well they'll do in university just purely grade wise like which grades they're getting not because they'll not understand the material as well or you know they're not studying as hard it's just that the grades that you get are usually lower than what you get in high school and you might be thinking yes of course Malena university is harder than high school and yeah like yeah of course but I do feel like the Dutch grading system also has a really big impact on how like your GPA grade average ends up being but of course a university program is more than just one semester and so you have more than enough time to figure out what works for you to adjust and to to really understand how the university teaches and the best ways for you to study and for sure this is not something that should demotivate you in the first couple of months. Honestly, out of personal experience, the first couple of months studying at a Dutch university can be demotivating when your average starts taking a, a nosedive, but it does get better, it does get easier, and just in general, I hope that this is the main takeaway you have from this video. Either way, I hope to see you guys next time, but till then, take care. Bye guys.